This is Witchspace News for Friday the 3rd of July 2020 I'm Commander Burr. In this weeks news Elite Dangerous gets patched Virtual Lavecon is this weekend The AXI have a new test of skill for you and more. If you enjoyed this video consider subscribing to the channel and also click the little bell icon to make sure you don't miss any of our future videos. That stuff really helps us smaller creators. As expected this week the game was patched bringing with it a host of fixes most notably for us at least was the carrier paint jobs now stay firmly affixed to the ship but there were plenty of other fixes as well. The superpower logos are gone from the carrier and a subsurface mining exploit was squashed as well as a bunch of stability and crash fixes which also made it into the patch. You can check out the patch notes in the description below to see if your favourite gripe has now gone. While we're on the subject of carriers the All Things Elite website Inara is now reporting that there are currently well over 10,000 carriers in the game. It'll be interesting to see where that number settles after the initial flurry of purchases dies down and redundant carriers start getting decommissioned from the game. 10,000 is a fairly massive number for such an expensive asset. Had the world not been in the grip of a pandemic virus then this weekend would have been the annual Lavecon Elite Dangerous convention. Undeterred the team at Lavecon are pushing ahead anyway with a virtual version of the popular event. Featuring RPG sessions, talks, retro gaming and streams the whole thing kicks off at 5pm UTC on Friday and continues through the weekend to late on Sunday night UTC. Alec Turner and the Buckyball Racers are also hosting a weekend long Buckyball Race event for you to participate in. Links to both that and the virtual Lavecon are in the description below. The Anti Xeno Initiatives player driven community goal continues apace with the stats towards its completion looking like this at the time of recording. If you're unfamiliar with the community goal then we created a video about it at the start of the week that is linked on screen now. The CG will be running until the end of July and requires various Thargoid related materials to be delivered to the AXI's carrier in Starope 2. To celebrate the CG the AXI are also hosting their own Buckyball style AX themed event. Called the Ceres Trial the event requires commanders to solo kill two Cyclops Thargoid variants in as quick a time as possible, sell the hearts to the AXI carrier and race back to the Ceres Tarn station before recording their time. Links to all of this are of course in the description. A quick update on the Turning the Wheel initiative from the Elite Week podcast. I'm very pleased to report that after a few short weeks of work the Dark Wheel faction has entered a state of active expansion and will be moving into a new system in just a few days time. The current plan is to continue expanding the dark wheel out towards Sol and then turn the initiatives eye towards the permit locked LFT 509. The ultimate goal being to see just what happens with the search for Raxler if the efforts of the dark wheel are assisted by commanders in the game. You can help out. Just follow the links in the description to the Elite Week Discord. All very interesting. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then 07 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time. <laughs>